Hey guys, so I'm just keep going on with these chicken recipes, I feel like. Um, so this is actually the same chicken that I had cooked in my crock pot from the last video with the chicken tortilla soup. And tonight, this is kind of, was an accident, s supper, meal, whatever. Um, we had been making, when me and my husband first got t together, we had been making a ki chicken casserole thing that we had found. Um, and slowly morphed it into this. <laughs> so it's not the healthiest, but if you need to feed a large crowd, or if you need a filling meal, or if you just need to resort to your pantry like I am tonight, we don't normally eat this. This is, we don't eat this anymore since we've had kids and we've changed our, our lifestyle. We eat healthier. Um, but I do usually have these things on hand. Um, not all the time. But it is a good go-to meal when you're um, looking for something that's a little more filling um, or just need to carry it on. Or if you just don't care <laughs> about um, health-wise what you're serving. So what I've got here, and I just call it chicken casserole. Um, I don't really have a name for it. Um, I, can, I can make up a name, I guess. Um, but this is... A pack of the turkey stuffing, stovetop stuffing. Um, you can use turkey or chicken kind. And then I've got one bag of my chicken from my crock pot that's already heated. Um, so I just heat it in the microwave when I thaw it out. <coughs> Mason, can you help me pour this in here? Where do you want to pour? It doesn't matter. And so I've done my stuff and I prepared it as the box said. Um, then I got my chicken. Sorry, my kids are in here. Okay, in here I have got about a tablespoon of butter, about a cup of the um, cheesy, cheese, whatever you call it, the processed cheese from um, Aldi's. They have Velveeta has a brand. Um, so I've got about a cup of it and the butter. And then Mason's going to go ahead and pour a half a cup of um, milk in. Can you do it? In do here? it fast, yeah. And I'm just going to let this boil and melt the cheese. Um, and then I've got a can of cream of chicken, and I just mix it in too. Um, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so I've whisked this until it's just a smooth um, sauce and all the cheese is melted. And I'm going to pour it in. If he wants to. Okay. So now, I'm going to add just about... I just add a handful of shredded cheese. No. It's optional, um, but I just add it in there. Um, I've done salt and pepper. Um, and so I'm just going to mix this up. <clears throat> and pink salt. Yeah, well, I use pink salt. So. <clears throat> All right. So you just want to get this really... Mixed well, and then just spread it out. Oh, yay! Thank you. Thank you. So yummy. Are you hungry? I ah. 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 All I do is add some shredded cheese to the top. I've got my broiler on high in my oven. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to um, see what vegetables I can round up um, for the kids or some fruit or something. To go with it. And they'll be ready to eat. So you just got to let the cheese melt because everything inside's already cooked. All 
our up. So it's all melted and cheesy. Um, and that's all you need. It'll warm up anything that's gotten a little cold. Yeah. So I just opened a can of sliced peaches for the kids. And I've got um, half an avocado from last night that I'm going to finish eating. My husband's at the fire meeting tonight, so he's not going to be eating with us right now. Um, but yeah, this is it for tonight. Super simple. I will leave the recipe, a printable copy of the recipe, in my blog. <laughs> Thank you to my little cameraman that's trying to not be filmed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more recipes like this, don't forget to leave me a comment below and let me know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys.